こんにちは、皆さん。はじめまして。マックスです。お疲れ様です。ボンジョーコモテレビジョンもプレイマックス。やるぶりのハセオマックスミダ。Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another brand new live video. For the girls, for the children, and for the French nail biter, Shalissa Fantasy. You guys, Shalissa is here, and we're going to do a one, two, three, go application of the French mini sculpted square on a nail biter. So, if you are a nail biter, if you have really bad cuticles, you're in for a real treat because we're going to do an extreme makeover nail edition. Not home edition, but nail edition. We're going to snatch up these phalanges, and they're so dope, you guys, because they're French and they're perfect right out of the bag. They require no painting, they are just like, they're ready. Like, she's like, let's go to the club now. But before I start, let us have some sippity sip of Gatorade, powdered Gatorade, because I love powdered Gatorade. So, you guys, we have been so busy here at inocouture.com. All of our Christmas and July sales are really killing, killing the game because it's 50% off selected items, no promo code needed. And today we just officially added the ink sets, you guys. Hello, my love. Thanks for joining us today. All of our ink sets, with the exception of the gold and silver, are 50% off, no promo code needed. So the neon, the Aurora Princess, the pastel, the original ones, 50% off, no promo code needed. All precious minerals are 50% off, no promo code needed. The baby kit and the pink magic trial kits for the monomer and the acrylic, 50% off, no promo code needed. And something that I know a lot of people, Cindy is joining us. Something that I know a lot of people are going to be excited for is the tumblers are also 50% off, no promo code needed. And what else is um part of the... Oh, the mystery box items, Yeah, huh? the mystery boxes. The mystery boxes are all 50%... The gel polish boxes too? Yes. What? So the mystery gel polish boxes, the mystery boxes, all of those are 50% off, no promo code needed. We're That's making, a good deal. That's a really good deal. <clears throat> Especially because we're making a lot of room for new fantasies, you guys. I'm really excited for the primer and prep refill, which will be available shortly. And also, um, I don't know if I should tell you guys this, but why, why not? Um, is the hoodie, the inocouture.com hoodie, will be available holiday season 2023. <coughs> so you guys, let's tap that screen. Tap, tap, tap. Let's try to get to 25,000 likes. If we get to 25,000 likes before the end of this video, we're going to do a... What are you getting, Lisa? She said. Oh, French. French mini square, and I'll show you guys right now. And we did one sticker on one nail because these nails are really small anyway. And we also did the shiny star in Cosmos, which is a really pretty, fun, light, like frosty kind of glitter. Really pretty. And these are also on sale right now, 50% off. So they come out to about like five US dollars, which is a great deal. So enough of me rambling, you guys. Let's turn this camera around and let's look at the before and after of the one, two, three, go mini French nails. Let's flip this camera around. So this is the after. Pay no attention to the cuticles because they were in worse state before we started. And then this is the before. Okay. So before, after. And I was really wanting to do a French because um, I was watching the Anna Nicole Smith documentary on Netflix yesterday. Have you seen it? No. no. Do you have Netflix? Yeah. Do you like it? Netflix? Uh-huh. Yeah. There's a lot of Korean shows on Netflix, huh? Like, a lot. We're going to start out by using the Diamond Menu, you guys. Have your butterfly stickers on, and they are beautiful. Oh, awesome. These are the Flash stickers. These are still $1. This is $360... What did I say? $368? Or $365. Yeah. It's in 300s. <laughs> The flash stickers. All the stickers are still one dollar, you guys, and all the foil kits are still one dollar too. So make sure you take advantage of that. So now we're gonna begin to prep the natural nail. Go in and scrub, 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 but be gentle. Cindy, Cindy Chris said there's a lot of Korean shows on there. There's a lot. So I borrowed my uh, friend Sarah Fenn's Netflix account, and I'm like, man, you guys really like her Korean telenovelas. Like that's all they watch. I'm like. I wonder if they're fluent now. There's one I want to watch, but I forget which one. I've never, I've never seen a Korean drama before. Are they like novelas or what are they like? They're pretty like short, aren't they? And I think the acting is very, is pretty good. And I think they, Netflix makes so many shows in Korea because I think in Korea, they're not very expensive to make and they're really high quality production wise, like Turkey too. 
to go in. Oh, thank you, my love. Let's go in and very diligently pull back that skin and get a really beautiful nail prepped. We are using Diamond Many today. And the I'm, Turkish ones are good too. My mom likes um, Turkish t television shows. She watches them in Spanish. I actually just got her new TV too. I got her a 32 inch TV for less than a hundred bucks. It was like 75 bucks on Best Buy. Cause the TV that she has is like not working that well. If it was up to her, she'd probably still have one of those big old TVs that are shaped like refrigerators. But honestly, video games look better on those TVs. Which on the big old old TVs? Yeah. Mm hmm Well, older systems do. Because now if you play like a PlayStation 2 game or a PlayStation oh, 1 the game, TV is like weird, huh? it looks horrible. And then because those video games were not formatted for widescreen TVs, you have these two black bars on the side. And oh, oh, yeah. so annoying. And I remember like these when I was a kid, I was like, man, these games look so good. And now it's like, ooh. Your prep is amazing. Oh, here. thank you. No? Do it a little bit this way. No, it's oh. easier. It's um, easier on my shoulders and my back if I move the camera versus me moving you. So that way we're not like trying to do Cirque du Soleil X. Tap that screen, you guys. Let's get to 25,000 likes. If we get to 25,000 likes by the end of this video, Shalissa is going to pick a winner and we're going to give something away, you guys. And don't forget Christmas in July. You know that's a real thing. Shalissa. Christmas in July? Yeah. Is it for real? Yeah. Where at? Uh, I think in Australia. I could be mistaken, but if anybody's watching, let us know. Oh, you know what movie I do want to see, though? Do the Right Thing, because I want to see Rosie Perez do the dance at the beginning of the movie. What is that? I don't know. I just know that Rosie Perez dances in it, and I don't think she's wearing a bra. She's just bouncing all over the place. I'm going to go see the new Insidious. I, I haven't seen any of them. We, me, me and Jay and Romeo yesterday we watched the third one. It was pretty good. What are those about? The devil? Yeah. El Diablo. <laughs> yeah. Are they scary? No, the, the third one wasn't scary. It was like good though. Or is what, it more like jump scares? Like jump scares. Oh. What bit are you using? Diamond Manny right now, my love. And I'm going in very gently. I'm at 4,000 RPM and I'm letting the machine do the work for me. That's why I keep hitting the same spot uh, multiple times, but in one direction. So that way I can loosen up everything and get it nice and clean without causing damage to her natural nail. The Hallmark Channel loves Christmas in July. Oh my gosh, really? Why wouldn't I be surprised? Now those movies are cheap. Oh my gosh. But some of them are kind of cute though. Like during on Christmas Day, when I don't have anything to do, like I'll, I'll, I'll watch a few. Last year was the first time. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that last year was like the first year that I started watching those horrible Christmas movies. Some were not that bad. And Carlsbad, New Mexico has Christmas in July. Oh, they told us about that yesterday. But it's not cold, so I don't want to go. I love to win today. My B day was last week, and it has been a rough month. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Happy late birthday, my love, and my condolences to you and your family. What speed do you use? It was at 4,000 RPM right now. So we're going to remove that dust. Some of them are cute during the holiday season, Cindy Christmas. The one I saw was called the Mistletones, and it had Tori Spelling and then um, one of the twins, T and Tamara. One of those girls was on there, and it was a cute movie. It was like a musical. Oh, no. I hate musicals. Really? Yeah, well, some of them, honestly. No, this one was cute. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't like no high school musical or anything like that. And then there was another one I saw that was so stupid. I just watched it because of the name. It was like Snow White Christmas or something like that, mm -hmm. and it was about this girl and... The elves were like the people from the hotel she was staying. It was just really dumb. But I saw it. But I saw it. <laughs> I finished it. <laughs> so now we're going to hit the nail with a coat of primer. I know, like the the Christmas holiday was really long last year, wasn't it? Wasn't it like three days or something? Like Saturday, Sunday? I don't know. I don't pay attention. I don't remember, but I just remember it felt like a long time and it was boring. Because I don't like watching that much TV and there's really not that much to do other than like watch TV and eat during the holiday season. I hate the Christmas movies during the holiday season. That's all they show. I know. So annoying. On every channel. For real. Actually, the year before that, I did watch a really good movie on Christmas. 
And it was not a Christmas movie. What was it? It was called Spun. It was about doing... um. Huh? Yes. How <laughs> did I know? It, it just says it in the name. <laughs> it was so good. It had like a lot of like really big names in it too. It had... um. Do you know who Mickey Rourke is? I don't know actors by the name. No? Sorry. He... Mickey Rourke. What has been Mickey... Mickey bleh. He was in one of the Iron Man movies. Nine and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. He used to be really good looking and now he looks like Kenny Rogers. I don't know. He was like a boxer, I think. That was a really good movie. Spot. The only movie I love with music is Grease. I don't like Grease. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't even seen the first. I couldn't finish watching the first one and the second one I've never seen, but I didn't like them. So now I'm going to go in with pink press on gel and this is going to be my base. I do like Sharpay's Fabulous Adventure though. I love Sharpay Evans. <laughs> I used to be all into High School Musical. Really? Yeah. Is that why Romeo likes um, the Disney musicals? He just... How did he start? I think he started watching that because of Raina's kids. Oh, really? Yeah, but then they got like old and grew out of it. So then he stayed stuck in it because he's so young. Mm-hmm. Does he still like his Disney musicals? Yeah. But now he's like going into a horror theme era. Again? Like he'd rather watch uh, Freddy Krueger, Michael Meyer. Really? Who watches those movies? Raina's kids? No, he just started because of YouTube. Does Ray like a uh, Ray? Jay like those kinds of movies? Yeah, he likes scary movies. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't like scary movies. I love scary movies. Like some are cool, but then for um, Halloween, he wants to go ahead and bake this one. He wants to be Pennywise. Yeah, for Halloween, and Ray. he got the hair and hairline for it. So. Who does? Romeo. He wants to be Pennywise? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I've never heard of a three-year-old wanting to be Pennywise. <laughs> the second one is pretty bad in my opinion. With Michelle Pfeiffer? No. Uh, oh, Grease? Grease or High School Musical? I think they were saying Grease. I love scary movies too. I love scary movies. If you guys like scary movies, press the number four. Press the, Press the number four for scary movies. Oh, you know what's a really scary movie? Shazam with Shaq. Shazam. Never or, heard of that. Is it Shazam? It's a movie with Shaq and he plays a genie. The movie is so bad it's scary. They said uh, Grease was bad, they said. And then someone else said Grease 2 was good. And I know, it kind of has like a cult class, like a cult following that movie. I don't like the second one, but the first one. First one with Danny and Sandy. The second one is kind of like the first one, but just with like the reverse roles. So like the guy is the nerdy one and the girl is like the bad girl. I think. I'm not sure. For real? I think I so. I didn't even watch the second one. I didn't even know they had a second one. Really? And I think they filmed it in the same school. And isn't there a TV show about uh, Grease? Like the pink something? I don't know. I think it's on Paramount. Heathers. Have you ever seen Heathers? They remade. Heathers was like, do you know Mean Girls? Yeah. So the movie that like inspired Mean Girls is called Heather's. Mm -hmm. It's with um, Winona Ryder. Do you know who she is? No. You don't know who Winona Ryder is? Mm -mm. Sharon Doherty? I don't know actors by their names. I oh. gotta see. So them. it's these girls and all of them are named Heather. For real? Yes. And if you're not a Heather, you're a booger. What the fuck? <laughs> and I think they kill one girl and there's like this like the there's like a, a heavy set girl too at the end. I can't remember. I haven't seen her in a while, but they remade it. And all the Heathers are supposed to be pretty, right? They remade it and they made them like the Heathers are now not Ugly. pretty. Yes. Like one's like a, like a heavy set rocker. The other one's a guy. And I the think. The pink ladies? Yes, I think so. That's what they're, everyone's coming. Pink. So they remade Heathers and it looks terrible. I don't know why they would do some, something like that. And just to make it so Heathers not Heathers. Awesome. But the movie is really good. I think one of them dies too at the beginning. Like have you ever seen Jawbreaker? Yeah. That movie's good too. Like her name is Violet. Or Bring It On. The first one was really good too. Mm -hmm. I used to be all into those too. Really? They're cute. Yeah. So we're going to apply with pink press on gel and hold for a few seconds. The first three Heathers die, don't they? I can't remember. I haven't seen it in a long time. But it's a, like if you like Mean Girls, you need to watch Heather's because it's actually. We're, 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 what is it on? Oh, you don't know. I think it's on Tubi, maybe. maybe. Yeah, Tubi has a lot of old movies. Mhm, mm and for free. Yeah. But it's actually like darker than Mean Girls. 
And I like the eighties fashion in them. Like they're all wearing like these like oversized sports coats with <laughs> shoulder pads. Girls wanted to look like linebackers back in the day. Do you like never been kissed? Yes. Oh my gosh. So I fly United Airlines all the time. That's the only airline I fly. And that movie's always on my flight, so I always watch it. That and Tu Wong Fu. But I like Josie Grossy. <laughs> oh, that movie's funny. Shoulder pads on top of the shoulder pads. Just big, broad shoulders. <laughs> But it actually makes your waist look longer. I think that was the purpose of it. And they would wear like really big belts and that it created more of an exaggerated figure. Never Been Kissed is really good. And Tu Wong Fu is really good too. Crazy Rich Asians, I couldn't get into it. I didn't think it was that good. The Wong Fu is amazing. Oh, that's a real, oh, the, the music. Salud at the beginning of the movie is really good too. Oh, Tu Wong Fu is mm -hmm. amazing. I said the wrong fool. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't for that movie, I never would have heard about Julie Newmar. She's like a hundred years old and she still looks really good. She was the original Catwoman. Oh, for real? Yeah, she's still alive and she's like six foot tall. Is she still alive? Yes, and she actually looks really good to be a hundred. And she's famous because um, she has like the prettiest garden in Los Angeles or something like that. Yeah? Mm-hmm, beautiful house. Oh, yeah, she's old. She probably takes care of her shit good. She doesn't have anything else to do all day. Uh -huh. But she actually has a special needs son, and she takes really good care of him. Mm. So those tips are already French. That's right, Mama. Hand painted. Not, you don't have to do anything to them out of the bag. They're perfect. I love to Wong Fu. I can watch it over and over. And then Wesley Snipes as a drag queen is hilarious, because he is shaped like a tank. I love the nails. Aren't they perfect? Literally. And then the movie that Tu Wong Fu is based off is really good too. It's actually based off an Australian movie called um, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. What is that one about? About these three drag queens that go from Sydney to Alice Springs. So like Sydney is like New York, right? Mm -hmm. And one of them gets hired to do a show in Alice Springs. And Alice Springs is like Tucson. <laughs> <laughs> and they have to drive out in this big old bus that one of them buys. And then one of them's a trans. And they find out what his real name is, and they make fun of him. And oh, I gotta watch it. It sounds good. And then um, the main one, he has a kid, and he doesn't tell him that he has a son. And he's still married, too. It is, it's to really life? funny. Yes. But he's trans? No, no, no. The trans one is the older one. Oh. Are they one, two, three, go nails? Yes, they are, my love. These are the one, two, three, go in mini sculpted square in French. And you can see, like, they literally, as soon as you are done curing them, there's very little you have to do after the nail is applied. Like, they're literally perfect out of the bag. I love them. Aren't they fabulous? She is serving the Fantasia. And then they sell this <laughs> face cream. It's called Woman. Woman. For the rugged woman in all of us. To the store I go. She's like, let's go shopping online. And don't forget, you guys, our Christmas in July sales. Look at that. Like, aren't they adorbs? She is serving you the Anna Nicole Smith fantasy. I love your nail color, too. Your products are perfect. Thank you. Are any of the XXL nails on sale? No, unfortunately, no. The next big, big sale for um, 123 Go Nails will probably... Black Friday which will be here before we know it too mm -hmm. in a blink of an eye literally like this year I can't believe it's already like July 4th already passed do you bend the nails uh, do you bend the nails a bit yes I do and that's so that way they hug her nail a little bit better too especially because her natural nail is not in the best state and I want to make sure the nail hugs from side to side so that way it fits her nail really beautifully and lasts a long time so I bend it down just a little bit so if you have a really deep C curve on your nail you can definitely bend them and give them a really beautiful shape have you ever seen hairspray yeah like a long time ago the original one or the musical I don't know the one was that good from oh that's the musical one yeah the original one is kind of funnier yeah mm-hmm but it's going to come to Tucson, though, the one with Zac Efron. Without Zac Efron. For real? Uh-huh. I want to go see it because I like some of the songs. 
It's July 6th already. I know, that's crazy. Are you a Zac Efron fan? Uh, no. Well, I mean, his movies are good, actually. I, I think I watched a movie with him yesterday. I forgot what it's called. And he's got big muscles. Yeah. Fuck, what was the movie called yesterday? I don't know. Actually, it looks like he's on, um... Steroids. <laughs> well, what happened to his face? He had an accident or something like that, huh? Did he? I think so. Do you ever watch Baywatch? Yeah. I heard it's not very good. It's all right. Like, um, The Rock's acting was pretty... Yeah, both of their acting was just pretty bad, honestly. Really? Who was the girl that was supposed to be Pamela Anderson? I don't know. Can you show what you are using for the glue? We're using press-on gel today in pink. And this is actually what I wear on my natural nails too. So you can use it as a builder in a bottle. And now we're going to do the inside. Divine made that movie into a cult uh, classic. Divine is everything. Those are some crazy movies that he made. And he broke his jaw. Really? Is that why he looks different? Does he? Like, I never noticed. Yeah, he looks a lot older. And his face is like really square now, like... Oh, yesterday, that's what I watched, the Ted Bundley movie. And he plays Ted but, um, Bundley. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I watched. I was like, what movie did I watch with him yesterday? Let's go ahead and bake that now. I'm going to order a mystery box. I'm so excited. Oh, awesome. Glory is actually making some as we speak. Because they're on sale right now, 50% off. What are you using in, on the inside? That's a great question. So what I put was shiny gel, which is our no wipe gel top coat, on the inside of the nail. And that's going to keep... Um, her natural nail free of any debris or stickiness and it's also going to seal any gel that might have seeped out so if like anything gets underneath her nail because Shalissa cooks a lot all any food or anything like that will just come right out because if the surface structure of the inside of the nail is going to be perfect kid movies like that's one thing I can't do <laughs> I gotta stay watching those. You have to have a lot of patience for kid movies. Like the ones from back in the day, they were funnier because they had like adult jokes in them. But now, I like Disney ones, I think they got rid of a lot of it, didn't they? Mm. We're gonna do a nice little soft square. Like the original Little Mermaid, I think is really good. The movie, the remake is okay. I haven't watched the remake. It's know. gonna be streaming really soon. Yeah, I, um, I don't know. He's like. He's into like zombies and stuff. He really doesn't like kid stuff. Yeah, it's more now. Now it's like scary stuff. I haven't seen uh, the new I Avatar. <laughs> You're like, I need help. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. What did you use? On the inside or the top? You know, I live. I think she wants to say I love. I love the fact that you interact with your viewers and answer the questions and such. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. How long does a set take when using this method without filming or on live? Mm, honestly, like maybe 20, 30 minutes. Inside. What did you use inside? Shiny gel. You can use shiny or wonder gel. Either or. Hey, Max. Hey, Mama. Who is it? Chani, Chani? Chani Lane, all the way from Chicago. That's what. Um, that's my homegirl from Chicago. Her and Barbara Mosley. We're gonna hit the track on Lake Michigan. I have Wonder Gel. Wonder Gel will work perfectly, my love. We're doing a one, two, three, go on a nail biter today. So now let us blend in that cuticle. I'm gonna use a five and one rose gold bit. Lifetime movies sometimes can be pretty good, too. Yeah, it's, not, it's just like a hit or miss with those. Did you see the one about the lady that had that church with the big old blonde hair? No. That she bought her husband an airplane and the airplane crashed and they all died? No. That one was actually really good. You should watch that one. I can't remember what her name was. The Jodi Audius one was not that bad, either. Why did you put the shiny gel on the inside? I'm sorry if you already answered this. Ha 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 ha. Let's see if the girls remember why and see if they can help me answer that question. Because I actually just explained it. So now I'm going to blend in that cuticle very, very gently because I don't want to irritate any more the natural skin.
to help keep food or anything out of the nest. That's right. What happened to my ding dong? Luckily, I have my charger ready to go. To keep the inside clean. That's right. It makes it easier to keep clean. Especially because Shalissa likes to cook a lot. So right now my machine is like at 15,000 RPM and I'm very gently going in and beveling everything out. Beautiful. And I'm not gonna trim anything until we actually do a fill or a new set on her, so that way it gives time for the natural skin to heal itself together. Have you tried sealing the cuticle with 100% acetone? So, by hitting the nail with acetone, it won't seal because you're not sealing it. What you're doing is you're blending it out and cleaning off the nail. And we do that in a few of our videos, too. We're actually going to do that today, too. I'm practicing a lot to get my cuticle work as good as yours. All you have to do is use enocouture.com. We have the tools that you need, my love, to get that cuticle snatched. So we're going to go in again with the same bit I used to prep her natural nail, the Diamond Manny. And I'm going in and blending everything out. Remember, 50% is you, and then the other 50% is enocouture.com. And the French and ombre nails, you guys, you don't have to buff them either. So that's a little time saver as well, too. Hostel, have you seen those? Mm, that's just like forever. Do you know there's a third one? No. Hostel Las Vegas? I started watching it, those but... Those are the ones where it's like a hotel, huh? And they, they get kidnapped, uh-huh, and then they yeah. like... People pay to torture them. Yeah, I gotta rewatch those. I forgot about those. They're really good. I used to, my favorite scary movie used to be House of Wax. The one with Paris Hilton? I don't know. Is, is she in there? Yes. I, don't know. I think so, but yeah, I don't know. I used to like them. That movie's not even scary. To me, it was when I was little. You know, that's a remake too. Is it? Yeah, the first one or the original came out, but it was like in black and white. So now I'm taking acetone and as you can see, we are going in and cleaning everything out and that's just going to melt that cuticle a little bit more. Lala said, I use loads of your stuff. Just ask the girls that pack all my shipping boxes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's ask her. She's right here. I'm going to go in now with Shiny Star in Cosmos, which is this really beautiful, like ultra fine, fine, fine glitter. I swear when I don't sleep that well. My speech is a little slurred, but last night I did sleep really well. The day before, I had like the worst acid reflux on the 4th from this pizza I had. All that pizza for 4th of July? Yes. It gave me like really bad indigestion. I think it had too much garlic, but it was really good though. But last night I slept pretty well. And then I would hate to like take sleeping medication because I heard that's like, that's how people begin to have issues. <laughs> I take melatonin. Melatonin, that's like candy. I'm obsessing over these. I love how you can't see her nails under. And it's perfect, isn't it? Like I didn't know people take methadone for pain. Because you always associate it with... um. I thought it was for like to get off of drugs. Uh huh. But a pe well, that's Anna Nicole Smith. She took it for her pain. She was like, "That's the only thing that like numbs it." Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Literally the perfect shade of pink. And it looks beautiful on every skin tone too. We're gonna go ahead and bake that now. My uncle did. He had cancer. He did uh, methadone for pain. I had no idea that they, it was used for that, but apparently it is. Yes. And that's what our son OD'd on too. Oh yeah? He was 20 years old. How sad, huh? Yeah, it's young. 
And then she died four months after. So she never got to raise her baby. I was blown away when I read the script bottle. Really? You're like, well, he's not going to feel anything. I like... I, like if I have like pain or anything like that's tired, I don't use um, Tylenol. I like um, ibuprofen better, even though it's really bad for your liver. But like in small quantities, it's okay because Tylenol just numbs the pain. But ibuprofen helps with like swelling and things like that too. Oh yeah, inflammation. My sister is coming over for me to do her nails, and she's excited Ooh. for the bubble gum down. Awesome! You guys, we're so close to the giveaway. We're at nineteen thousand likes. You guys, let's try to get to twenty-five. The what? I once got a gel X and my nails showed under. I hated them. The pink was so ugly. That's why you gotta get enailcouture.com. One, two, three, go. I tried the bump on heavy metal and it caught me off guard. So much glitter. Oh my gosh. I told you we weren't joking when uh, I said the glitter count is no joke. So we're gonna do a little flash sticker in I mean, heart shape. Ibuprofen's bad for your kidney. Tylenol's bad for your liver. Ooh. So you're screwed either way. Let's go crazy on tapping the screen. But don't take them on an empty stomach either. These tweezers, you guys, are so essential for applying stickers. So now let's position it right here in the middle. Yep, pretty much. And Tylenol just got approved like a few years ago too by the FDA. Isn't paracetamol Tylenol? Pretty much, especially if you're in kidney failure. Ooh. I ordered tweezers. You're going to love them. They're, not only are they beautiful, but it's like literally the best. So now I'm going to hit the whole nail with the coat of Wonder Gel. Because when you have French nails on, I highly recommend Wonder Gel because it has um, UV inhibitors in it. So it'll help prevent yellowing. Especially like, for example, if they smoke or if they tan, it's going to help keep those nails pretty white. I need to order the tweezers. I have some, but they didn't work great. You need needle point tweezers like ours. It's going to make your job so much easier. So make sure we apply that Wonder Gel evenly over the whole nail surface. Oh, I love the stickers. Isn't it adorable? Just one little sticker really makes it like really cute and special. Y'all better be tippity tapping the screen. <laughs> We're so close to the giveaway, I can taste it. Does Dump Top have um, the UV inhibitors too? It does, but since it is thicker, I would do a thinner coat on a French. It doesn't have as much UV inhibitor as Wonder Gel. So you could do Dump Top and then do a coat of Wonder Gel on top mm -hmm. too. And when you apply top coat, you guys, frost it on like you're frosting a cake. Jealous of her nails right now. Aren't they cute? Let's turn it upside down. Let it self-level out. For about 10 to 15 seconds. And the other one that we considered doing too was... You can put it in now. Saturn. I just love Dom Top for encapsulating glitters or anything that's really thick is great focus camera this is saturn shiny star remember you guys these are all 24k now Ooh, we're so close this is the one we use today this is cosmos these nails are so cute i love them oh look it's mama d you guys give a shout out to mama d she's in atlanta clapping it Hanging out with Nini Leaks at Magic City. Yeah, 25. We are already 25.1. Woo! Hey, Mama D. Hey, Mama D. How's little Scrappy? <laughs> <laughs> Remember little Scrappy? Yeah. I watch him on Love and Hip Hop. Oh, he's on there? Yeah, Mama D's so funny. She is funny. Does she still come up on the show? Sometimes. But since him and his... Him and Bam Bam, his big mama, and they broke up, so he's back with his ex. Oh. What's her name? Diamond? I just remember Mama D sounded like a dude. 
wow in love if I let it self level it's long if I let it self level longer is it that bad it depends so if it's really hot that or if there's like a fan around um and you let it self level for a long time and you flip it over you can see that the gel might have ran over too much to one area and then you'll have like a like a really high like i want to say like a nipple like a little peak and so i would just turn the hand over and let it you know smooth out by itself so it just depends love your works man oh thank you love i appreciate that let's see you can take it out now let's check make sure done. everything is nice nice and dry especially the thumb because sometimes she can be tricky beautiful yes so now we're going to hit the nail with cotton candy cuticle oil remember you guys after the hand comes out of the lamp we're going to wait at least 10 seconds to let the nails finish the polymerization process and then we hit it with cotton candy cuticle oil keep it nice and moisturized love the nail so simple yet so elegant and it really has transformed her hand this was extreme makeover nail edition you need some like little white cotton gloves and then vix and then that'll really snatch up your fingers beautiful work as always well i thank you my love socialist and now comes the hard part you have to pick who's going to be the winner winner chicken dinner who won the little giveaway today we're going to give away a one two three go party nail Press on. You can go ahead and give it to Perla. Perla? Yeah. Have you won within the last 30 days, my love? And do you live in America? Okay, let's see the other hand so they can be both in the shot. Where do you live, love? She says, OMG, yay, I haven't. She lives in LA. Like Louisiana or LA, California? Look at that. So beautiful. And so simple. We did this really fast, too. Yeah, my phone just died, too. <laughs> oh. You're welcome. So what I need you to do is send an email to info at enocouture.com and let them know you're today's winner and we're going to send you out a little prize. Okay, love? And that's a wrap, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this really simple, really classic and really easy Extreme Makeover 123 Go Nail Edition on a Nail Biter. Now she has nice and sexy little French nails. And don't forget to take advantage of the Christmas and July sales going on right now, you guys. And we will see you tomorrow with Cara Monaco in the next live video. Bye, everybody.